Hello viewers, this is Matt, your off-plan specialist in Dubai. Today I'm at Shoba and this is Hugo, senior sales manager at Shoba and he's going to help us go through the project called Sinia Island, a major project in the Emirates that I'm really excited to show you. So Hugo, can you explain to us where we are on the map? Thank you, Matthew. Yes, welcome to Shoba everyone. And indeed, this project has an amazing location. Let me tell you more about it. We have a direct access off of Sheikh Zayed Road with the bridge that is going to be constructed and completed delivery end of year. This is about 50 minutes drive to Business Bay and um, about 45 minutes to the airport. And 15 minutes drive from uh, the casino in Ras Al Khaimah, I believe. 100%, you're correct, okay. Matthew, awesome. it's true. It's a very important point. You have the direct close proximity to the casino within 15 minutes drive to Margin Island. Okay, can we uh, study the project together? Yes. Uh, how many villas, how many apartments? I've heard it's close to 200 luxury villas Correct. next to the sea and yes. over 500 apartments, also yes. luxurious. Right? So it's important, exactly, you're correct. We've started the project with the first phase, the first launch. It's 196 villas ranging from four, five and six bedroom villas. Now, these are luxury villas. All of them are sea facing and the starting price for this villa is 10.5 million for the four, point, for the four bedrooms, 16.5 for the five bedroom and 23.5 for the six bedrooms. Okay. Unfortunately, we have very limited inventory and almost all of them have been sold out, especially the six bedroom villas. So Hugo, what kind of lifestyle can we expect from this new community? Well, Matthew, this, um, this island is loaded with amenities. You have two marinas, you have a luxury shopping center, you have six kilometer of boardwalk, uh, of beach walk. You have also a retail boulevard that is going to be following along the apartments over there. You have two luxury resorts, as well as a helicopter launching pad. So if you have a helicopter, you can always, um, you know, shop on from Dubai to Sinia Island very quickly. So I can come by the road, by the sea and by the air. Basically. Yeah, pretty much. That's exactly correct. Yes. Depending on how uh, quickly I want to reach, I can use my helicopter. If I want to take my time, I can use a boat. It's uh, only 20 minutes short boat ride from Dubai and uh, probably less than 15 minutes helicopter. It's pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I, in my opinion, the reasons that make it a good investment is that we are at the very beginning of the launch of a new community in phase one. So this is why the prices are so attractive. Quickly enough, as, as Hugo mentioned, it's selling pretty fast. So then there will be phase two, but obviously just like with any new community, phase two prices tend to be significantly higher than phase one. This is, uh, this is how the game works here in Dubai. And uh, so the early adopters of a community like this will enjoy the best prices. Um, so you can uh, opt to buy now to flip it later or just because you're planning to enjoy it yourself in the long run, but at least you enjoy the best prices. What else? What am I missing? Well, I think it's important to understand as well, like the, the how massive this project is, because, you know, when you say Abu Dhabi, people around the world, they know Abu Dhabi. When you say Dubai, people around the world, they know Dubai. But if you say Amal Kuwait, nobody knows Amal Kuwait. Well, this project is going to change this. This is going to give Omar Kuwain, international renown. This is going to put Omar Kuwain on the, on the world's map. And it's important as well to understand that with the urban sprawl that is happening all over Dubai and the flux of population migrating here, this luxury resort island offers like a safe heaven. It's, it's like a safe heaven you're going to have. It's, it's the billionaire bay. So right? a safe haven for whom? Who do you expect to be there? Is it only people coming for holidays or do you expect no. residents as well? We expect people, you know, in today's day and age with uh, being able to work from home, people are moving to more, you know, close to nature mm -hmm. with, with uh, you know, with environments where you have a lot of amenities, close to nature, convenience. This is, um, this is exactly what this island offers. You can live a peaceful lifestyle here. If you want to go crazy and go enjoy a night at the casino and enjoy your night at the club in Ras Al Khaimah, you're only 15 minutes drive to Ras Al Khaimah. But you can also have a safe haven of peace and tranquility close to nature. Because your neighbors on the villas and the apartments here, the neighbors are gonna be what? They're gonna be the dolphins, they're gonna be the sea turtles, and they're gonna be the gazelles. There's also like, 
you know, this is a, this is an opportunity now to be a pioneer, to be a pioneer, to take this opportunity to invest in this project because in four, three to four years, all the price per square feet in this island is going to be over the roof. It's going to skyrocket and, and it's going to be too late. So now you have the opportunity to get in, as you were saying, and I couldn't agree more. Mm. So basically, Dubai is getting more and more mature as a property market. And we are witnessing what happened in destinations like New York with Southampton, where you have a luxury community uh, of people who like to go there on weekends or even to live there uh, all year round to enjoy a different lifestyle from the, from the main city. Or the uh, same with uh, places like the French Riviera. Some people enjoy the lifestyle of the, the lifestyle of Saint Jean Cap Ferrat or the Cap d'Antibes, and not just be in Nice in the city. Or some of them they, they live in the in the city and they just like to go to their uh, second home. So I guess this is yeah. what the, we are going to witness here. It, this is the future of uh, of the Emirates, I guess. Yeah, one hundred percent. And and this is the future, but also the past because it's an archaeological site. Mm. There is some. Uh, there used to be a monastery here uh, that is hundred of years old as an archaeological site on the island. It was one of the first settlements for the Emirates in the Middle East, one of the oldest uh, pearl fishing spots in the Gulf as well. So it is the future of the Emirates. It is also a significant part of the past. And it's one last thing important to mention. It is unique to the Emirates in the sense that this is a natural island. Mm, true. All the islands that you see here, none of it is man-made except for the bridge connecting to Sheikh Zayed Road. Yeah. And it's bigger than Pan Jumeirah, which yeah. is man-made. So it's, it's huge. We don't really realize the scale of this master plan, but it's huge. And I like the idea that this is the place where the past is meeting the future. Yes. yes. So if you want to be part of the future of the Emirates, please get in touch with us. You're going to find the contact details in this description of this video. I encourage you to send us an email or WhatsApp or give us a call. We'll give you all the details you need, all the information that you uh, you deserve to take your uh, decision. And uh, we will ha then help you throughout the process to own your piece of paradise in the Emirates. We look forward to receiving you into Shoba Sales Gallery and discover your very own corner of Maldives, 50 minutes drive from Dubai. I look forward to it. We'll see you Thanks soon. Thanks, Matthew.